Today, I'm going to talk about decoding the narcissist. Hi, I'm Nanette. Welcome back to Narcissism Exposed. So you can also call this the narc translator or don't ignore the red flags. So the narcissist speaks in basically three ways. Projection, opposite, and deflection. And I will explain. So let's go over these one by one. The first one, projection. And I got the definition for that word. As you know, I like to look, at, look up words. And this projection means knowingly taking unwanted emotions or traits you don't like about yourself and attributing them to someone else. So let's take, for instance, someone is in a relationship with a narcissist and the narcissist is cheating behind his or her back and then comes up to their partner and says, you know, I suspect that you're cheating on me. That's right. I think that you're cheating and you're being disloyal to me. You can nine times out of 10 count that as a confession. So they're basically projecting what's happening with them on the inside to you. So remember, in a nutshell, a false accusation from a narcissist is basically an actual confession. The second language of a narcissist, and I'm here to help you decode this, is when they speak in opposite. So here's a for instance, this is from a narcissist I had to deal with not too long ago. He kept saying, you know, I'm so humble. I'm the most humble person you'll ever meet. I know humility is so important to God, and I know God must really favor me because I'm so humble, and everybody tells me I'm humble. I'm just the most humble person you've ever met. So you understand that the opposite of humble is to be full of conceit. And that's how this person panned out, is he was full of deceit and conceited like nothing else. Here's another for instance. Let's say you're getting a divorce from the narcissist and the narcissist comes up to you and says, you know what, I only want peaceful negotiations with you through this whole ordeal. You can bank on that narcissist is going to go to war with you. They're going to pull out both barrels blazing and come at you. And there will not be any peacefulness whatsoever. Here's another for instance where the narcissist says, you know, I'm the most loyal and faithful person you will ever meet. You can bank on that. That narcissist is going to steal every possible thing that they can from you. And then here's another one. I would never cheat on you, ever. I wouldn't even think of doing something. And the opposite to that in translation is, I'm entitled to anybody that I want, anyone that I see, I have a right to. But you'll never know because I'll keep it behind your back. Remember, the narcissist mask is the opposite of what's really behind that mask. So the words that they tell you that they are, they are not. They're the opposite of that. That's why it's called a mask. It hides what's really behind. The third language of a narcissist and how to decode it. First, I'm going to give you the definition. Deflection. To attack or blame another person rather than accepting criticism or blame for your own actions. When someone deflects, they are trying to feel less guilty, avoid negative consequences, and put the blame on others. Let's say you bring something up to the narcissist, an issue, a problem, something that's been going on that you want to have a conversation like a mature adult. What happens is that narcissist starts turning things around, dredging up things from the past, saying, well, you did this, you did that, you did this, you did that, or bringing up something completely different, or doing a word salad where you don't even remember what the topic was. And why? Because they don't want to be accountable. They do not want to have any self-awareness. 
They cannot stand the shame that is within them. For them to even look at their shame for even a second, they can't handle it. So remember, narcissists are full of shame and they hate confrontation because it stirs the pot from inside of them. And so they will fight tooth and nail to attack you for the very thing that you are bringing up about them. Look, there's great holy scripture in God's word that helps to enlighten us about these evil toxic people. Narcissists are one of many toxic evil people and God wants you enlightened. He wants you to walk in your discernment so that you're not taken in by these deceitful people. And in Proverbs chapter 6 verses 12 through 14 it says, A troublemaker and wicked person goes about with a corrupt mouth telling lies, who winks maliciously with his eye, signals with his feet, and motions or points with his fingers, who plots evil with deceit in his heart. He always stirs up conflict, discord, and strife. You see, there's a specific language that the nar all narcissists engage in. And when you understand that they, they engage in projection, in opposite, and deflection, you will start to take notes and those red flags, you won't toss them away anymore. You will gather them together and say, hmm, now I'm putting together the pieces of the puzzle and understanding that this is a dark and evil person. And then that is your cue to detach and to walk away and get on your path of truth and destiny. So leave your comments down below. If you found this helpful, do hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, do hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification button so that you'll be notified the next time I put out a video. And until next time, walk in peace and be blessed in your hearts.